Hello, everyone. I'm back with Unit 2 Poetry. Today, we will talk about all the major authors' works today and tomorrow. We will talk about the major authors and works, and we will see their important questions. These questions will help you to remember the most important details about these authors. And also, it will help you to do your own preparation. Remember, guys, there is a lot of time still for the exam. And you should start studying. You should do your own research. It will be amazing. So are you ready for the questions? It is based on unit two poetry. Tomorrow also I will deal with questions. So join me tomorrow also at 10 p.m. First, we will look at some questions from British poetry. The aim of this session is not to give you the questions alone. It is also to draw your attention to the most important authors and works. All right. Who of the following? Ayo, you can't see properly now. I will do one thing. Chang, chang, chang. I will just show you like this. Who of the following? wrote a conventional poem called Wife to Husbands. This is the poem, opening of the poem. Pardon the falls in me for the love of years ago. Goodbye. I must drift across the sea. I must sink into the snow. I must die. Tell me, who is the famous woman poet who wrote these lines? Wife to husband. Is it Christina Rossetti, Elizabeth Barrett Browning, Elizabeth Bishop, or Sarah Fielding? Tell me the answer. It is, I will give you a clue. This is a woman writer who wrote a lot about sexual repression and about various aspects of women in the society. It is Christina Rossetti, the sister of Dante Gabriel Rossetti. Remember, with this question, I'm trying to remind you, women poets are important. When they ask about British poetry, they may not ask all the major mainstream poets always. They might sometimes focus on the minority poets also to Althea from prison. This is very famous. To Althea from prison is a poem by Dash. Is it Robert Herrick, Richard Lovelace, Edmund Waller, John Suckling? Bring your attention to 17th century poets. There could be po uh, questions based on Caroline poetry, Cavalier poetry, metaphysical poetry. 17th century. The answer is Richard Lovelace to Althea from prison was written by Richard Lovelace. Okay, he is a cavalier poet. Richard Lovelace, John Suckling, Edmund Waller, Robert Herrick, they're all cavalier poets. Robert Herrick was cavalier poet and metaphysical poet, both. All right. Who of the following was a poet? of Charles II's court. Now, in Charles II's court, there was restoration comedy. Many of you may not give any attention to poetry of this time because poetry was highly erotic, vulgar, but they will expect you to read social history. So in net and set, such questions can come. Tell me, is it Earl of Rochester? Is it the Duke of Buckingham? Is it the Count of Drogheda or the Earl of Surrey? Which of these poets or who of these was a poet of Charles II's court? It is the Earl of Rochester. 
he wrote a lot of amorous poetry very vulgar that is why we don't study it but in social history literary history he is very important are you loving this these questions guys if you like the questions please like the video also all right who opined that poets are the creators of language now that is a literary criticism question based on poetry this is a literary criticism question based on poetry now remember guys uh they will ask about criticism as far as possible you should read critical essays poets are the creators of language is it coleridge shelley blake or keats who of these critics said this it is p b shelley p b shelley wrote a defense of poetry it is a book of essays critical essays on poetry and also remember p b shelley said poets are the unacknowledged legislators of the world right and a defense of poetry came posthumously remember that so all the major quotes from critical essays please remember to look up all right which of these poems is not by thomas hardy remember guys a lot of questions will come from victorian period in the previous net they did ask already a question based on hardy's poems which of these is not a poem by thomas hardy is it the ruined maid drummer hodge the voice or sister helen you all know that hardy wrote the dinas based on the napoleonic wars you might also know that hardy wrote the darkling thrush now hardy also wrote the ruined maid drummer hodge the voice but sister helen is written by d g rossetti d g rossetti wrote the blessed damsel sister helen rosemary troy town etc will you remember to helen is a poem by edgar allan poe to helen is by edgar allan poe thomas hardy wrote a lot of war poems responding to war against war she also wrote he also wrote emma poems emma poems he had neglected his own wife and he shows that guilt in emma poems okay guys shall we move on music when soft voices die vibrates in the memory who said this these are famous lines by a major poet tarang is it pb shelley lord byron john keats dg rossetti music when soft voices die vibrate in the memory this is a poem by pb shelley again remember they might ask you questions based on actual lines of poetry actual lines of poetry so why do you do that from tonight you have to start reading major poems will you do that start reading major poems every day before you go to sleep for half an hour if you read you will be remembering a lot of major poems <laughs> okay british poetry for now over i'll be back tomorrow with more but now we will have american poetry are you ready guys when was the first poetry collection of emily dickinson published you know that none of not none very few of emily dickinson's poems were published in her lifetime like 10 or 11 but she has written over 1000 poems oh my god 
When was the first poetry collection of Emily Dickinson published? Is it 1881? Is it 1882? Is it 1892? Is it 1894? Not easy, eh? The answer is 1892. Remember that, 1892. Okay, guys, I hope you're loving this uh, session. Did you read important question, uh, important authors and works last night? Yesterday, I had given you a study plan. If you had followed important authors and works, you would be able to remember a lot today. Tonight, also, you should study, okay? Remember, this is a course. And if you just attend the free course here, open course, you will also pass. All right, next question. From American Literature. Who of the following wrote a poem about the Brooklyn Bridge? Who of the following wrote a poem about the Brooklyn Bridge? Is it T.S. Eliot, Richard Aldington, T.E. Hume, or Hart Crane. Bolo. Brooklyn Bridge is the theme of a poem by Hart Crane. He wrote a wasteland like poem called The Bridge. He wrote a wasteland like poem called The Bridge. Will you remember, guys? Hart Crane is a very important uh, American poet. All right. Who of the following used Black British language, Black British dialect in poetry? Is it now you will have to know uh, who are the Black British poets? Black, not British, Black English. Black English is the... Um, Language, not British. It could be American also. Is it June Jordan, Joy Harjo, Wendy Cope, or all of the above? Tell me. Tell me. Is it June Jordan, Joy Harjo, Wendy Cope, all of the above? I knew that some of you would say all of the above, but that is wrong because Joy Harjo is a native writer. Why would Joy Harjo use black English? Wendy Cope is a white British writer. It is June Jordan. I tricked you. It is June Jordan who wrote black English. June Jordan, black English. June Jordan, black English. June Jordan is an American poet. All right. Which of the following is an American Poetry Prize? American Poetry Prize. Is it Gratian Prize? Nudigate Prize? Bollingen Prize? Or Humanitas Prize? I will teach you RPSE. But my team will help me to revise and all that. All the main classes will be mine. Okay, American Poetry Prize kaun sa hai? Gratian Prize is no. It is Sri Lankan. Gratian Prize is Sri Lankan. Started by Michael Ondache. Nudigate also no. It is Bollingen Prize. It is Bollingen Prize. All right. Poonam Mehra, you should join because I am going to teach RPSC. Last time I taught and so many people passed and became professors. Indian poetry. Ready, guys? Who was the first Indian poet to use pidgin for comic purposes? You know that Nizim Esekiel did that. Before Nizim Esekiel, kisne Kisne likha pidgin? Pidgin matlab Indian English. Is it Henry de Rosio, Dom Morais, Joseph Furtado, Eunice de Souza? Who of them wrote pidgin for comic purposes? Henry de Rosio was a very serious poet. 
Dom Moraes did not come before Nizim Ezekiel. It is Joseph Furtado. It is Joseph Furtado. Jo Dom Moraes came after Nizim Ezekiel, guys. It cannot be Dom Moraes. And he did not write comic poetry. Okay, Dom Moraes wrote Serendip. Remember I told you yesterday, Serendip got what? Sahitya Academy Awards. All right. Next question. Dancing Earth is an anthology of poetry by, is it South Indian poets, Himalayan tribes, female Dalit poets, Northeast poets? Bolo, Dancing Earth. How is my dance? Do you like my dance? Dancing Earth is an anthology of poetry by South Indian poets, nahi. Himalayan tribes, nahi. Female Dalit poets, bhi nahi. It is Northeast poets. Northeast poets, very important. You should remember. Will you? Which of these Indian poets got Pulitzer Prize for poetry? Only I am excited here. None of you is excited, I think. If you are excited, give me thumbs up. Chang, 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 chang. Which of these Indian poets got Pulitzer Prize for poetry? Is it Vijay Nambishan? Vijay Sheshadri? Vihang Naik? Sudeep Sen? Pulitzer Prize is American Prize, guys. Pulitzer Prize is American Prize. Is it Vijay Nambishan? Vijay Sheshadri? It is Vijay Sheshadri. Vijay Sheshadri got Pulitzer Prize because he is Indian American poet. Indian American poet he was. Yay! My babies are giving me thumbs up. They are excited. Thank you, thank you. Next question. Who of the following is the first queer poet in India? Who of the following is the first queer poet? Is it Gopi Kotur, Vijay Sheshadri, Hoshang Merchant, or Makran Paranjpe? Makran Paranjpe, I know, was a professor of in Delhi University. Hoshang Merchant was a professor of, uh, professor of Hyderabad Central University. Vijay Shashadri, Indian American. Gopi Kotur is a Malayalam writer, Malayali writer, Indian English writer. It is Hoshang Merchant. Hoshang Merchant. Okay, first queer poet in India. Who is the author of the 2004 critical work? Modern Indian poetry in English. You should know about critical works. Will you remember that? Is it Gail Omvet, Bruce King, Michael Holroyd, Eleanor Zelliot? Gail Omvet and Eleanor Zelliot are writers who are associated with Dalits. Michael Holroyd is a biographer associated with Bakhtin. It is Bruce King. It is Bruce King who wrote modern Indian poetry in English. Guys, did you like the questions? I want to know if you liked it. You are not answering. Why? Next question is on post-colonial poetry. Are you ready, guys? Who wrote Woman to Man? Woman to Man, describing the mysterious process of birth and the fear and hope engendered by it. Is it Chimamanda Adichie, Judith Wright, Margaret Atwood or Adrian Rich? Thank you, Komal. Woman to Man. Woman to Man. Is it by Chimamanda Adichie? No. Is it by Judith Wright? Yes. Judith Wright is an, Amer is an Australian feminist writer. She's also an environmentalist. Woman to Man is a very famous poem by Judith Wright. If you liked this session, you should give me hearts, lots of hearts. Okay. 
Je Benjamin Zephaniah is a prominent poet of the movement called, is it spoken poetry? Is it Rastafarianism? Is it Jindi Borobak movement? Is it performance poetry? Kal boli thi mein. Benjamin Zephaniah. This is clue. If you look at my video, you can see the clue. Is it spoken poetry? Is it Rastafarianism? Is it Jindi Borobak movement? Is it performance poetry? Aha! It is performance poetry. Benjamin Zephaniah wrote performance poetry. Will you remember? <laughs> Did you like my dance? Which Australian poet wrote a series of linked poems? These poems are linked. Which Australian poet wrote a one poem, the next poem, linked. One poem, the next poem, linked. Series of linked poems called Letter to Live Poets. Letter to Live Poets. Is it A.D. Hope, Bruce Beaver, Bruce Daw, or Douglas Stewart? If you look at the video, are teen char bar video dekho na, then you will remember. Everything you will remember with rep repeated revision. Dekho mera video dekho, I will give you the clue for this. Video dekho, clue hai na, video mein. Dekho, letter to live poets, linked, linked poems. Who wrote? Is it Eddie Hope? Bruce Beaver? Bruce Daw? Douglas Stewart? Option. Which option? Is it Eddie Hope? Bruce Beaver? Bruce Daw? Or Douglas Stewart? It is. Bruce Beaver, because I was doing this dance for only Bruce Beaver. <laughs> A yoke who is asking me to explain something. Oh, Rastafarianism. Kuhu, Rastafarianism is a Jamaican movement in poetry. Kuhu, you have joined my course, na? I will explain everything. It is there in our PDF. Jindi Vorabak movement is an Australian Aboriginal movement. Rastafarianism is an Jamaican movement. Will you remember Kuhu? Next. For every bird, there is this last migration. This is the opening of the poem, The Death of the Bird by Dash. Remember, Death of a Bird is also a poem by Keki Daruwala. But that option is not there here. Death of the Bird, is it by A.D. Hope? Margaret Atwood, Chinwachi Bay, Derek Walcott. Death of a Bird is by Keki Daruwala. Death of a Bird is also by A.D. Hope. A.D. Hope also wrote, Death of the Bird, it begins. For every bird, there is this last migration. Will you remember, guys? Which poem by Derek Walcott begins with a reference to Thomas Brown's earned burial? Kuhu, don't worry. Because you have joined our course, I will teach all these things in very great detail, especially in the one-year course. Uh, six month hoda sa fast hoga, like in one-year course, uh, I, I'll be able to go slow. Don't worry, YouTube babies, I will teach you all these here also. Repeatedly listen to the videos. Will you do that? So Derek Walcott's uh, poem that begins with Thomas Brown's earned burial. Is it ruins of a great house? A far cry from Africa. The sea is history. Adam's song. Remember, Thomas Brown's earned burial is about ruins of a man. Earned. Inside which people's ashes are kept. Earned burial is about ruins. And it is at the beginning of ruins of a great house. Easy, na, Abhi? Now you can remember. Ruins of a great house by Derek Walcott. And it begins with Thomas Brown's earned burial, which is also about ruins. Next, European poetry. Only third asa. Okay. Are you tired? Only third asa more. European poetry. Oh, yo, Jean des Essintes is the protagonist of a book by, is it Baudelaire? 
बॉदलेर का एक ही बुक था फ्लावर्स ऑफ ईवल उसका एक प्रोटेगनिस्ट नहीं था गए थे अरे छोड़ो गए थे नहीं हुई मैन रिलके रिलके का भी एक बुक और एक प्रोटेगनिस्ट नहीं था इट इज जे के हुईज मैन ए रिबो against the grain that is the famous book which inspired picture of dorian gray picture of dorian gray uh, was inspired by this man jk who is man's poem book of poetry called a ribo against the grain and it has this protagonist abhi to you have listened to this you heard this एक दो बार और वीडियो देखोगे तो यू विल लर्न इट एंड देन यू वोट फॉरगेट इट डोंट वरी डू यू नो एलर्जीज इज अ लिरिकली इंटेंस कलेक्शन ऑफ पोइट्री गाइज दीज आर ऑल टेकन फ्रॉम आवर पी डी एफ ओनली फॉर पेड कोर्स इफ यू टू बेबीज कैन नॉट डू पेड कोर्स कोई नहीं आई विल शो यू द इम्पॉर्टेंट ऑथर्स लाइक दिस यू शुड स्टडी इट ओके इज इट डू यू नो एलर्जीज is it by reina maria rilke anna akhmatova romain roland or paul valeri it is by reina maria rilke rilke is a very famous german poet rilke is a very famous german poet who of these is not a symbolist poet is it paul valeri adar imbod paul sezain paul verlain listen to me guys one of them is not a poet one of them is actually a an artist who among the following is an artist is it paul valeri no he is a poet is it arthur rimbaud no arthur rimbaud initiated surrealism paul sezain is the answer he was not a poet he was an artist will you remember yes you will remember take this like a course not a casual video read about all the names we saw today make your own notes and study and then you will pass your exams okay so that's the end of today's session i hope you liked the video i hope you liked the questions i hope you will read more about these questions i will be back with more tomorrow bye bye good night love you